Hey guys, welcome to Effortless Code Learning. I hope you are doing well. In this video, let's learn how to display country state city picker inside Flutter application. So make sure to watch the video till the end. If you have not yet subscribed this channel, please subscribe it for more helpful Flutter videos. Now let's begin. Here I have already created this blank Flutter application. Here I want to show country state and city picker on the screen. To show country state and city picker, let's use CSC picker package. This package is really easy to integrate and as you see, it supports all these platforms. So it can be easily used with any type of platforms. As we need to add this dependency in postfect.yml file. Here I already added its dependency in my postfect.yml file. Now let's make changes in main.dart file. So here instead of this container widget, I will be using CSC picker widget. Here you can see this country state and city picker drop down are displayed. This country list is displayed here. That is all coming from the CSC picker widget. Here first of all we need to add callback handler for country change. Then we need to add callback handler for state change and then city change. So let's add this three callback handler. Likewise we need to add callback handler for state and city. Here we added three callback handlers. Now let's check. Here you can see country list is displayed along with the country flags. Here I have selected country. Now state drop down is enabled. I am selecting state. Now this city drop down is enabled. Earlier it was disabled. Here I can select city from respective state. By default this country state and city picker displayed horizontally. We can align them in vertically. So let's align them vertically using layout property. So here you can see complete list. It has two values, horizontal and vertical. Its default value is horizontal. I am selecting vertical to align them vertically. Now you can see here, these are aligned vertically. Likewise, if you don't want to show these country flags, you can hide them using flag state property. Let's check. Here you can see country flags are not displayed. If you want to change this drop down labels, you can change them using these properties. Here you can see this label change. Likewise, we can change label for state and city. Now let's run the application. Here you can see these drop down labels are changed for country, state and city. Labels are changed here also on this dialog. Here you can see. Now if you want to change radius of this dialog, you can change it using drop down dialog radius property. Here you can see radius is changed for this dialog. Likewise, you can change radius for this search bar. Radius of this search bar is changed. Likewise, you can customize this country, state and city picker using various properties. You can find complete list of these properties here on this package page. You can customize this country, state and city picker according to your requirement using these properties. That's all for this video. If you have any issue or suggestion, please comment below. If this video is really helpful, please like and subscribe this video. And don't forget to subscribe this channel for more helpful predator videos like this. Thanks for watching the video.